I actually do a pre-workout twice a day. Um, My joints feel amazing since I got back on the joint support. Besides creatine, what's another supplement? Honestly, I would say joint support. For advice that you use to help with the mind-muscle connection you speak of. Big love, Mike, from Scotland. Like a guy on here was asking, hey, Mike, do you take pre-workout? If so, what is it? Are you kidding me right now? I understand your point. Mona's dieting. Um, so she's a little moody today, folks. So I'm going to apologize. Please. Good. So you know what I mean. Like if yeah, you're gonna, I get you. I get if you're you. gonna we, ask my we questions, do have make to sure repeat. you investigate. You know. Me and Jeff are talking about this, and we do have to repeat ourselves a lot mm -hmm. because we have new people in here. We will do it. We're fine. But yes, I do take a pre workout. I actually do a pre workout twice a day, um, and my YouTube videos talk about it. I'll take a pre workout around two o'clock in the afternoon, and guess what? I don't work out at two in the afternoon. Well, then why are you taking pre-workout in the afternoon? You get it at Walmart, just so you know. Because it keeps my energy up and keeps my body fired up. And so that's helping me more, burn more calories, even though I don't train. So, yes, I do do it twice a day. Um, my joints feel amazing since I got back on the joint support. Mm, yeah. So, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So I was off for a while, and then I said, you know what? It's stupid of me to not go back on it. So I started the joint support. It's been a couple of weeks. I feel like I'm 19 again. I don't have to worry about bending down, doing stuff, go play with Titan. It just feels great. So We will uh, get some videos up about uh, chiropractic because mm -hmm. uh, we did go back in and test it. And I will say this. Mona's neck is worse than better. So for everybody out there going, well, you guys are just going to continue to get better and better. No, we we both run into hiccups. We both run into these issues. We both run into something's a little tweaked. This doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. All it means is we reevaluate. We see what we're doing, what we're doing wrong, and then we correct it. That's so right. we're with you guys. We're, we're with you guys. That we're not. We're not these. Uh, well, uh, I'm not. She is. Uh, these meta humans 24 seven where nothing gets hurt or nothing gets owies and stuff like that. And that's why we do the joint support. That's why I don't understand the person saying, Hey, besides creatine, what's another supplement? Honestly, I would say joint support um, because his question was what will keep my gains? Well, you got to remember that you're deteriorating. You're 51 years old. I would say, keep your joints healthy. That's more than anything else. You'll be able to pick. I know that's up. odd. But yeah, picked it up at Walmart as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it's great. Join support, guys. Stay healthy with the inside. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to talk about? I really want to talk about the changes on the programs because uh, Victoria checked in okay. and she said she was on for 12 weeks. And I'm like, no, we, we just changed it a couple weeks ago or a week ago. And so I wanted you guys to make sure that you understand that. And the reason why that came up is because we did our check ins. And now remember, Everybody here, I hope, is in the Titan crew. And like I said earlier, we're doing a full-on, across-the-board check-in late next week. Full-on, everybody gets to check in. That I'm, I'm going to allow James James to check in. I'm going to let Bobo check in. Uh, Jeremy Davis, absolutely not. He did not send me the sweatpants. Steve Pack. He can no. check in. I guess Steve? the box from... Okay, Steve can check in because uh, I don't know <laughs> their relationship. I don't know what it's going I love on. Love Steve. I know. I know. Yeah, it's coming in next week. Is it this week? Next week. I think he's next coming week. in. Um, you know who else is coming in? Teresa. Teresa. Do you know who else is coming in at some Prime point? Rib. Oh, Prime Rib is already Prime in. Rib needs um, to come in. Anita. Anita Vargas. Oh, she, Anita's she's coming in. coming to hang with Teresa for a couple of days. So we got, you know, Billy Gunn is coming back when? He texted you. I saw he texted you. Thank you for that, man. Any donations here all goes to the dog fund, uh, especially Striker. Yes, I don't have any makeup on, just so you know. So yeah, I, I, I don't wear makeup. It's funny. I, I have no makeup on either right now. <laughs> I, don't wear, I don't have time. Uh, okay, go for it, Jeffrey. Just, Last one. Just going to pick that one, too. Oh. Do you have any tips? For advice that you used to help with the mind muscle connection you speak of. Big love, Mike, from Scotland. Uh, okay, well, hello, Scotland, first of all. Um, got some heritage there. Um, what I want to say is this. 
And we kind of went over this today with Shelton, a uh, big time wrestler, WWE guy came in today and we trained and it was, yeah. and I hope you guys will get this. And I know it's going to probably be missed on most of you. The guy that I trained with today could probably, I'm pretty sure could probably take down everybody I've ever trained with and destroy them. Now, the reason I say that is because of this, he's got to a level of success by relying on his genetics, um, some work ethic, obviously, you, you, you know, you don't get there and you don't stay there for 20 years if yeah. you don't have work ethic. But beyond that, he admits that if he worked a little harder and not just uh, uh, relied on his genetics, he would have been better. And the reason why I'm saying this and about this question here is because of the fact of when we were training, because he was a D1 wrestler, He's very shoulders front because you're grabbing. you got to keep him front. Um, and so he has now done this for so long that his shoulders are overdeveloped. And now so anything he does pressing-wise, it's technically a shoulder press. And that means he could do a flat bench, bench press, right? A flat bench. Everybody, we all do flat benches. He will develop shoulders off of that, not his chest. Does that blow your minds? Now, this guy's, again, an elite athlete, a D1 wrestler, a superstar at the WWE, a beautiful body, and still can't concentrate on the mind-to-muscle connection. And the reason I think that's so important, and I've talked to Mona about this with Titan, is that I found that Titan 2.0 bar done. That bar is the greatest thing, anything for any kid or someone that can't focus on their chest. And I'm going to continue to find those kind of odd positions and, and, and machines to get you to focus on the muscle. Because if you can connect to the muscle first, your development will be tenfold. It'll be tenfold. It'll be amazing. And again, the reason I wanted to really emphasize how great this guy was that I trained today is because I don't want you to feel like uh, everybody gets mind to muscle connection. It's not true. It's not. It's a tough thing to do. And I didn't even have it as a young teenager. I was focused on strength. I wanted to be the baddest dude that ever walked the earth. By the time I was 19, I wanted to be the strongest human in the world. Came close. But what I missed out on, and I wish somebody would have told me and slowed me down and said, great, you're really, really, really strong. But you're not building the foundation of a body to support it. And so it took me years for myself to really go, oh, oh, I really got to connect to the mind and muscle. I need to squat and feel it in the legs, not just move through the movement. And I wish you guys would take that more seriously instead of just going, I do 315 squat up and down, boom, boom. It's good. I'm gold. I'm gold. You're not gold. You're not. I see guys in the gym every day. Jeffrey sees it. Mona sees it. We see guys in the gym every single day. You can go to Instagram right now and go find 10 guys that all do 800-pound deadlifts. 800 pounds. That's a lot of weight. And most of them don't have any backs. Does that blow your mind? It should, but it should also make you wake up a little bit. Where you could also go on Instagram right now and find guys doing 315 on deadlifts, and their backs are amazing. So what's the difference? What are the, what's the two aspects there? Well, the point of power bodybuilding is to connect both of them, because I want you to be strong for a lifetime, and I also want you to develop it. And on that note, man, thanks for the question. It was a great question. Thanks for the donations, everybody, today. I really appreciate that. Striker appreciates that. We appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to see everybody's check-in next week. We are going to rock this. Um, as you guys know, I start this movie, and we're going to be locked down. So the check-ins will be late next week. Um, I'm going to be out, done, off uh, internet and all that kind of stuff for a bit. Um, but we'll back up, see you guys next week. James, James, you better check in. All you guys check in. There will be no form check Fridays um, until I say... So right now, just keep doing your thing. Keep interacting with each other. Keep those teams going in the Titan crew, and let's keep pushing this thing. All right? Tell your friends to get in the Titan crew. Let's make this thing and blow it up.